Hey, hi everyone. I hope you all are doing good. It's a wonderful evening in Bangalore. Uh, it's cloudy and yes, I really like this weather. Pretty cold. So yeah, in my today's session, uh, I'm going to show you how to dockerize a ASP.NET Core web application. So without wasting much time, let's start. Okay, so I have installed Visual Studio 2022 and uh, yeah, the, as a prerequisite, I need either Visual Studio 2022 or Visual Studio Code or, and uh, yeah, the Docker application. Okay, the Docker desktop. Well, that said, so let's start with uh, creating a new project. Yeah, so I would like to go with the ASP.NET Core Web API. So I will select that. Click on next. I need to name it. So let me name it as Dockerize ASP Net Core Connect. Okay. So that's it. So I will click on next. Okay. See guys, if I want, I can enable here itself. I can enable this application to make it dockerizable basically. If I click on this enable docker checkbox no, so Visual Studio will automatically add the docker file for my web API. But there is other way also. We can do it after creating without checking this checkbox also. So let's go with that approach. So yeah so what i will do is basically i have configured for http yes protocol so i'm okay with it no issues so let's click on create uh, meanwhile it creates so visual studio has created a asp.net core web api for me so let's check uh, if it works or not okay so simply you can come here to the solution explorer okay and build the solution basically so it's building so build has been successful so let me launch the app that's pretty cool uh, my web api is up and running and the default controller given by microsoft for this web forecast controller is up and running so well that ensures the application is building and running fine so let's provide the docker support now okay so let's stop this and what we will do is go to solution explorer right click on the uh, web api project and click on the add and here in this uh, menu item or in the menu you will see that there is an option of docker support click on docker support okay and select the target operating system you can go with windows or linux so i will select linux and i will click on okay so as you can see a docker file has been added by visual studio for you no need to write manually yeah it has automatically added the docker file for you okay but again it depends on how your project structuring is if you have a uh, N number of libraries which support your web API project then yes you need to tweak this docker file you have to write the copy steps in order to copy those library references okay so this is just for the demonstration purpose how it works so let me quickly show you and you can see in the output also see the container tools okay docker desktop is already installed it verified okay docker desktop is running and it's also verifying the docker os everything okay everything happens in the background so now let's give a look at the docker file which is created okay this is the most important part guys uh, basically so this is the set of instructions which you provide to the docker okay in order to create an image of your api application okay in my previous videos i have already explained what are the images what are the containers okay so basically using this docker file i'm going to create an image of my web api application okay and this image then can be run on any container okay or any number of container instances on kubernetes okay so let's start with that and also one important thing we usually miss please see that 
this commented line here okay you can have you can uh, go through this link to understand how users today uses this docker file to build your image very useful okay for faster debugging purposes so i will start because this is a multi stage docker file so let's start with each and every stage here each and every stage is wherever you see this from statement row or this from keyword i can say these are all stages so what is the first stage the first stage is itself getting the asp.net 6.0 image okay the asp.net runtime 6.0 image as a base always remember creating a image of uh, any web application or any application in a docker is simply uh, a set of layers basically okay so your base image which basically contains your asp.net core runtime is called base image uh, base image or i can call it as a base layer on top of that we will go on putting various other images uh, sorry other layers like our application specific code and if there are any external library dependencies or any other tools we can get their images but again this is the approach of layers basically in order to create the images so first is from microsoft container registry that is mcr so from mcr.microsoft.com slash dot net slash asp.net core 6.0 i'm taking it as a base image because this application is targeted towards dot uh, net 6.0 okay so this is what this line basically tells and then work dir is nothing but our current directory command okay cd command okay so what i'm doing is using work directory i am setting it to slash app on my container okay so basically when this statement runs it is going to create a directory called slash app in my container and what is container container is nothing but a process on your kubernetes pod okay or a pod is a kind of virtual machine so on that virtual machine you will host your container which is a process basically and inside that that process will basically create a slash app folder on that container or your vm so i'm exposing port 80 for http and i'm exposing 443 for https communication okay then comes the next stage from mcr.microsoft.com slash dot net slash sdk colon 6.0 see the difference guys okay this is asp net colon 6.0 is basically the runtime which you need when you deploy your application on production environment okay so this is basically a runtime okay it will simply run your application binaries okay but in order to build your application what you have to do is basically uh, you have to take this dotnet sdk 6.0 as build that's why they are mentioning names as base as build okay because obviously i have to build my application because i will be shipping it uh, with its source code okay so in this step what i am doing is i will go to this sdk 6.0 as build i will set the work directory or current directory to slash source okay then the first step is i copy my current application my source directory okay that is a dockerize asp net core app slash dockerize asp net core app dot cs project to a folder on my container called dockerize asp net core app slash okay so what I'm doing is basically from the source code, I'm taking the CS project file and I'm putting that CS project file inside a folder on my container called uh, in file, uh, yeah, inside my container where I, I am instructing the Docker to create a folder dockerize ASP.NET core app and inside that paste that CS project. And then I'm running the usual .NET restore command in order to restore all nugget dependencies. Okay, basically this .NET restore uses here uh what is that nuget package manager to install all the dependencies okay so that is the step this basically this basically restores all your application dependencies it downloads and installs them then copy dot dot i'm going to copy everything whatever i downloaded basically okay whatever binaries i downloaded in restore step all libraries i'm copying it to my yeah target directory or yeah in the target directory then i'm going to set my work directory to slash source slash okay uh, dockerize asp.net core app and then okay yeah yeah sorry apart from copying all the downloaded dependencies i am going to copy all my source code also because just now 
I used my CS project file to download all its dependencies, but I have to build against my source code, right? So yes, copy dot dot means I'm going to basically copy all my source code to the current directory that is source basically. Oh, so all my dependencies and all my source code came into current source directory. Now I will set one directory go to slash source, okay, slash dockerize ASP.NET Core app. See the folder references first you go to slash source okay then inside source you copied cs project file by creating a new folder called dockerize asp.net core app slash so what we did basically we copied then we run the dotnet restore okay for that and then we copied everything into that folder now work there slash source slash dockerize asp.net core app basically contains all the source code as well as dependencies so what i'm going to do i will run dotnet build on my cs project file hyphen c that is command okay and i will specify i want this build to happen in release mode and output directory will be slash app slash build okay so i'm telling the dotnet build command to build my project in release mode and put all the binaries which are resulted from build into slash app slash build okay then third stage from build okay see this is the base step now this is the build step now from build as publish now this is the publish stage okay what i'm going to do is run dotnet publish okay cs project hyphen c in release mode hyphen output equal to slash app slash publish okay so here basically i verified whether my code is compiling or not okay by using dotnet build post successful dotnet build what i'm going to do is now i will run dotnet publish to my cs project file hyphen c release and hyphen output directory will be now slash app slash publish okay and there is a switch slash p colon use app host equal to false okay now after doing a publish i have all my binaries in that in this slash app slash publish okay folder inside the publish stage remember okay there are each and every stages this is the base stage where all the asp net core runtime was copied basically okay in the build stage all the source for, yeah source code files as well all their uh, dependencies have been extracted installed and then build happened okay now from build as a publish now what we are going to do we are going to create a publish folder and inside that publish folder we will put all the binaries now from base as final now see see the trick here we are not at all referring build we are not at all referring publish but now we are taking the base image because when i want to run my image on a production server okay on a kubernetes pod that is a production pod or any pod you can take I don't want all my source code and all unwanted stuffs like slash bin slash obj folder line. So what I'm going to do is basically uh, and also my SDK also. Okay. I don't want my SDK also which I used to build and publish this project. I only think what I want is when my image is going to be a final image is going to be created. I want only the bare minimum ASP.NET Core runtime and my binaries. That's it. I don't want or build command, .NET command, everything, all files being there in my image. So what I'm going to do is that's why from base making it as final, I will set my work directory to slash app and now as app will contain this publish directory can you see here slash app slash publish what i'm going to do copy hyphen hyphen from publish stage see look at the instructions copy what stage i have to refer hyphen hyphen from equal to publish stage what i have to do is extract everything inside slash app slash publish that is over here which is basically all my binaries and put it into my current directory that is a slash app okay now most important step the entry point uh, step i can say inside this stage the entry point will basically tell where to start this web application and how to start so this is an entry point and yeah what command i use to run my asp.net core applications we use dotnet a command right so we have to specify it as the dotnet will be the application which will trigger my application which will start my application and what is my application i have to finally give my applications dll file 
which is same as my application name basically like this dockerize spinet core app dot dnf okay so once this is done now when i run it from visual studio i don't use other profiles like web browser script debugging okay iis express no now i will directly select docker okay now see what happens so <coughs> my application built successfully using docker and now my application is up and running guys can you see now this is running on docker basically okay so let me pull the docker application over here okay this is my docker desktop so if you see the images section before running this application i had zero number of images in my docker desktop okay there was nothing now see the moment i run my application using docker can you see first thing okay the base image mcr.microsoft.com slash dot net slash asp.net the asp.net runtime for version 6.0 has been downloaded that is of 207.69 mb that is the runtime okay and then on top of this layer okay my dockerize asp.net core app has been built okay and this image is created can you see my image this is the final image that i am going to supply to my uh, audience in order to deploy it on various environments it may be dev qa uat prod okay see it has came up with 207.67 mb okay so this is basically now up and running that's why it is showing in use okay and as you saw the application is up and running okay so if i try it out if i execute see i'm able to get the response a trivial controller but yeah it will, it will serve the purpose of demonstration and if i see the visual studio can you see the studio is in running mode and what is the app solution container see the dockerized asp.net core app is running in the container this is the container currently running and if you see the environment the asp.net version is 6.0 asp.net core environment variable is set to development okay and ASP.NET Core URLs have been set to 443 and plus 80. Okay, so if you hit, if this image is deployed on a production server, basically the communication happens on the default ports of HTTPS that is 443 and for HTTP it is 80. Okay, but if you see the application URL over here, it is making use of 49153 because it is running on local and Kestrel. I, I guess Kestrel has allocated this port in order to run on the local machine okay so that's it and uh, this docker file not only uh, limited for specifying all these kind of information but yes you can specify the various environment variables you can specify the security certificates over here and also you can specify your target environment also your ASP net core environment value also in case of this example i think visual studio has automatically taken care of setting asp.net core underscore environment variable value to development and urls to this but again you have uh, the flexibility of specifying this name these uh, environment variable names in your docker file and yes you can mention what port you would like to run and what will be your urls okay and what will be your environment basically on which this image is going to run okay so that's it for today i hope you people understood the concept uh, thank you for listening and have a nice day